Epic Valheim Editions is the most significant mod to come along in quite a while as far as game progression goes. We already have Forgotten Biomes mod, which adds rocks and stuff to the unfinished biomes, and we have mods like Monster Nomicon and Do or Die Monsters that add new enemies to those biomes. Now, with Epic Valheim Editions, we have new, complete weapon sets for each biome and new resources to make them. Not only that, but this mod also offers new shields, which is very rare. I can only think of one other mod that has new shields. First, let's look at the heavy metal line. You can see that most of the weapons are based on vanilla models, like the Dragorfang Bow, Porcupine, and Crystal Battle Axe. But they have this very deep black color to them. Then there are these blue highlights on the edges. I think they really look great. The swords and shields are unique, new designs. There is a two-handed sword and a one-handed sword. I really love these sword designs. The round shield looks like your basic Viking design, which is a welcome return in my opinion. Then there's the tower shield, which is another new design. This one might actually be my favorite. To round out the line, you have an ax and a pickaxe. You don't know how happy I am to get another pickaxe. For some reason, Vanilla stopped providing new pickaxes after the Iron Age, but now we finally have some better ones to choose from. Moving on to the Fro Metal line, you can see that most weapons are similar, except for now they have a, these white and blue textures with a frost effect like the Frostner. The swords and shields are again unique. There is the large two-handed sword, and then this one-handed sword, which I think might be my favorite design out of all the weapons. The shields are kite shields with vanilla-like low-res textures. Lastly, we have the flame metal line, which again has the mostly the same designs except for the swords and shields. Here's the two-handed sword and then this one-handed sword. The one-handed shield is the shape of the kite shield, but it has this crusade style cross on it. And the tower shield is shaped similarly to the heavy metal shield, but with some different features. All of them look fantastic, I think. So we've seen all the weapons. Now, how do you craft them? Well, there's a new crafting station, Thor's Forge, that you can build with the hammer. You can find it under the crafting menu here at the bottom. Check out this great effect. Isn't that neat? <laughs> now, Thor's Forge will use the extensions from your exist existing crafting station, so you don't have to add new ones. Once you've built that, you can see all the available recipes for the new items. Now, the idea here is that your enemies will drop these scales, heavy scales, fro metal scales, and flame metal scales, okay? And you would then use those scales to craft these new metal bars, and in turn use the new metal bars to craft the new weapons. Hunterty has provided the scales here as a craftable item as well, but it's recommended you use them as the drops instead. Besides the scales, there are two more resources that are provided. In the Mistlands, these large ancient roots are now destructible. So if you chop at one with the axe and break it, you will get a new type of wood that is used in crafting the weapons. In the deep north, these icebergs can now be mined with a pickaxe, giving you a new type of ice that is used to craft the fro metal items. And finally, the mod offers buildable altars for each of the monster Nomicon bosses. Most of these boss events never actually occur, so you never get to fight them. But now with these altars, we have that option. You'll need to gather the materials, then head down to the biome and build the alt with your hammer. There's a different drop that is needed to summon each boss, so you'll need to add those drops to the enemies in their respective biomes. That's all I have for this episode. Thanks for Huntardy for creating this mod and sharing with the community. And as always, thank you for watching.